Well, hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really sorry for the delay. It's been nine months, 10 months, 18 months. I really have no idea how long it was since I last did a YouTube video. I am very sorry for that. Um, obviously the big C word came along and knocked us all off our pegs uh, as wedding photographers, especially had kind of 18 months of no work. And of course, everybody else as well. It was terrible for everybody out there. Um, my grand ambition was that once the once the pandemic kind of receded a little bit and fingers crossed, fingers crossed, it's, uh, you know, it's gonna recede completely that, uh, I'd get straight back into weddings and then I'd get straight back into YouTube and all of that good stuff. And yes, the weddings came and the weddings came in abundance. I think in September I shot 10 weddings alone. So I haven't really been able to pick up the camera, the video camera for filming anything for YouTube. But today I have an opportunity to talk to you, which is great. And of course, you know, I talk about this, this idea of weddings coming back and uh, I'm British, I'm very British. So it's my British prerogative to sound like I'm complaining about something that's actually very, very good. And it is very good. Uh, it's been wonderful to be out there with those brides and grooms and uh, all those lovely weddings. So uh, before we begin, I want to just say thank you very much to the good friends of mine at Lexar who are sponsored in this video today and in fact I'm using the Gold 2000 SD card as we record this uh, 4K. And I've got two in the X-T4 that I'm recording this on uh, backing up, one uh, recording the main film, one recording uh, the backup. Uh, UHS-2, very fast, very reliable, very durable and uh, the only cards that I'm using in my stills as well. Uh, just great. Pop them in and don't need to worry about them anymore. Perfect. Uh, I've got 128 gig cards. I stick two in each shoot and uh, I don't even have to worry about changing cards. Perfect. Of course, I will link to the Lexar stuff below. Okay, so what are we going to talk about today? Well, uh, those of you that have been watching the channel for a while will know that uh, I've uh, I've got a love affair with the 23mm and 56mm Fujifilm lenses. 56 1.2, 23mm 1.4. And uh, I was looking, uh, over the summer I was looking at, uh, at my shots and something like 80%, I think actually it was 84% of all my wedding work over the last eight years or so was shot on the 23mm lens. Now, Fujifilm have dropped a, a pebble in the ocean, if you like, and released the new 18mm one point. Four, which has a linear motor, which is the key thing for me, this linear motor. And uh, I used to love the 18mm f2 lens. It was very small. Now, the 1.4 lens that we've got today is much bigger than that f2 lens, um, but it's a lot better. And that f2 that I used to use was, was very capable, was very good. Um, but as the camera technology moved on, the sensors moved on, the speed of everything moved on, the f2 lens was a little bit slow, just wasn't quite up to what I needed, especially in low light conditions. And so when that 18mm 1.4 came along, I thought, I'm going to have a bit of that. So I bought that lens and uh, I've been shooting with it ever since and I absolutely love it. Now, of course, there's the new 23mm 1.4 coming out, the linear motor version of that that's coming out, should be in the shops any day soon, actually. Uh, and that's going to be a dilemma for me because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to afford to have both of those in the bag, especially given that I've got the old 23mm as well. So, however, I have to say that this 18mm 1.4 has blown my mind away. So I don't need to talk to you about the lens itself. There's plenty of videos. It's been out for a while, so you can look at all of the tech stuff online. All I'm going to do is show you some of my images that I've shot over the last six weeks or so on that new lens and just talk about it. And I hope you enjoy. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom, and as you can see, I've got 20 or 21 images or so to show you. Maybe we'll get through all of them, maybe we won't. Um, but I'm going to start with this one. This was taken at the beautiful, beautiful Farm Street Church, the Catholic Church in the, in the heart of London. And uh, I always love going into the venue beforehand, whether it's a church, whether it's a hotel, golf club, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to get an image of the place before the congregation turn up and everybody kind of storms into the room. I think it gives a really nice sense of ambience. Now, of course, as I mentioned, I used to use the 23mm exclusively. Um, maybe I will go back to that when the new one's out. I don't know. It's this is, this is up for debate right now. But right now, at this moment in time, I'm loving using this new 18mm. Um, the brand new one, it's a little bit bigger than the F2, as I mentioned in the introduction. But it's given me a lot more opportunities, I think. And of course, it's only one step, two steps back, maybe, um, in terms of perspective. But I think that this image really shows kind of the... Uh, the angles, uh, the stuff I can do with this. Now, this is obviously a vertical image. Don't shoot many vertical images, but I think this Im this image itself uh, really dictates that. 
Okay, uh, same same church. Uh, these two little page boys walking down the aisle. Of course, actually, uh, those of you that are clever enough to figure it out realize that they are just practicing walking down the aisle um, because probably there would be guests in the pews otherwise. So uh, in this case, I watched them, saw them practicing their little walk, um, tilted down the flip screen on the XT4 that I'm using. Of course, I know that some of you love that XT4 tilt screen. Some of you don't. I personally wish that there was an option for it to come straight down like the X-Pro3 and the X100V. Uh, however, there isn't. Uh, I've kind of got used to it. I do love the XT4, I have to say. Uh, and this is a nice little image. Just pop that screen down, shot this uh, nice and wide again, using those leading lines of the pews to lead us to the little boys walking down the aisle. <laughs> All right, and who wouldn't love an image like this? And uh, you just, I look at these images, this image of this little boy, and I wonder, I, I can't remember exactly what was being said. He looks to me a little bit like he's being told to, uh, you know, do not misbehave yourself, make sure you smile, make sure your hair is nice. Um, he was good as gold on the day, I remember that much. And, you know, I love the fact that he's kind of holding onto mummy's hand and then there's another figure, an unknown figure, he's uh, giving them this little uh, this little talking to. Uh, really, really nice little picture. Um, and again, you know, this is this is shot, I think, uh, straight down. I, I've just kind of knelt down. This is a reactionary shot, not with a flip screen, if I remember rightly. Uh, just straight across, one shot, and then move away. And, uh, yeah, I really like that picture. Okay, this is from Daniela's wedding a few weeks later, I think, from the ones we've just seen. And uh, again, this is a, this is an example of uh, of using the 18 mil to kind of get really close, or close enough, I feel, um, to get the shot that I needed to get. Another vertical image, and of course, uh, many of you will have heard me mention many, many times the idea that I believe that, and everybody else should believe that, you know, photography, good photography is based on light, composition, and moment. And in this case, it was the light that was drawing me to the back of Daniela's dress. And again, it's something that I try and do at every wedding is, is get, I, you know, I, I'm a documentary photographer, so I don't stage things, I don't hang dresses up and all that kind of stuff. Um, however, I do understand that it's really important for the bride who spends a lot of money probably on their dress to, to get the details, to get the shots. So I'm always looking out for opportunities to, you know, to show off the dress, show off the um, embroidery, the lace, the buttons, all of that stuff. And uh, I think this is a nice image too. So the light's dropping down now. This is a spot metered image and it's, uh, it's actually shot with the electronic shutter, this, because it's really, really bright sun. So it's at one twenty thousandth of a second uh, using that electronic shutter, uh, f1.4, ISO 160. And uh, yeah, I really like it. I really like this this kind of detail. And I'm, I'm you know reminding myself constantly to look out for these types of shots because they are important to the brides and grooms. Okay, so we're now at Mike and Magalie's wedding, um, which was in the East End of London uh, a good few weeks back now. A uh, fun wedding indeed. Uh, some insane dancing, brilliant dancing, in fact. Uh, it was a late wedding for me, a long, long day, but it was a wonderful wedding to, to be at. And, uh, you know, this... <laughs> This image again is shot with the X-T4, uh, this time definitely with the flip screen. Camera down on the floor, I'm trying to get the reflections in that, uh, that dance floor and uh, I'm watching them, I'm waiting for them to do something and then uh, Mike being Russian and Magali being French, uh, you know, they, they had their, their ideas of, uh, of what a good dance would be and, uh, and my word, their friends really joined in with them. And uh, I'm not sure what's going on here, to be totally honest with you. But it was some kind of sequenced move that was unplanned, but they all seemed to know what they were doing. And uh, late at night, this is, I don't know, looking at the, the time in there, this is about 11.15 p.m. And uh, yeah, nice, nice and low, nice and wide, you see. Now, this is why I'm loving the 18 mil, because... I'm not sure with the 23 mil whether I would have had the, the foresight maybe even to think about this. Whether I had the space to move back or not, I'm not sure. There were tables behind me. So maybe I couldn't have got this with the 23 mil lens. I really don't know. Uh, however, I really like the perspective. I really like the angle. And uh, I love the fact that they're just uh, blasting away there. And they, they don't really give a damn that I'm there, which is amazing. Brilliant picture. Okay, moving forward a few weeks now, this is um, Tim and Alex's wedding. And, uh, uh, you know, what I love about weddings is the hustle and bustle beforehand. And, and this was an incredible wedding, I have to say. 
and uh, before the wedding, before in the morning, all the bridesmaids and dad and everybody else, they're all they're all busy doing stuff. They're all kind of in this case, they're they're getting the table um, napkins ready. They're folding it up. I love the baby in the corner who's you know, where's my next sandwich? Um, and again, that nice wide angle, which which really is why I'm drawn to this 18 mil. And we'll talk a little bit more about the specifics, the details, the sharpness, uh, all of that kind of stuff as we go through this. But I think, as you can see in this image, it's given me an opportunity to get the types of pictures that I want. And actually, you know, when I compare it to the original 23 1.4 that doesn't have that linear motor, it's sharper. It's definitely sharper. Now, I have tested the new 23mm 1.4, which should be hitting the shops anytime now, and that has the same sharpness. And the reason for that is because they're both built with forward thinking in mind. Um, so if you if you listen to the Fujifilm uh, webcast a few months ago, they alluded to the fact that there will be uh, newer sensors in the future. And, and honestly, I'm not privy to this. I really don't know. I know as much as you guys do. Um, but one would imagine that the sensor is going to uh, resolve to maybe a higher megapixel rate. And so these lenses, I think, are, are kind of future-proofed for that. So here's the church, the parish church of St. Peter and St. Paul, as you can see there on the sign. Uh, really, it's a really beautiful church, isn't it? It's uh, quintessentially English, I think. I'm not sure if it's a Norman age church or it's certainly Norman style. Um, but again, one of the things I always try and do is get a shot of the church, get a shot of the venue, both inside, as we saw earlier, but also outside, really important. Now, in this case, with the 23 mil previously, I definitely would have had to have changed my angle. Of course, I wouldn't have not been able to get the shot, but I'm backed up to a hedge here. So I can use those trees on the left and right hand side as, as borders, as frames, if you like. Um, it's a really nice angle, really nice perspective of the church. Uh, and yeah, it's just very simple to get, very simple to get. I'm really loving, uh, you know, having to think less a little bit about moving backwards and forwards now. OK, so this is the groom meeting one of the guests. Um, Pretty, pretty normal picture. Um, and again, remember it's cropped. So that's important to remember this 16 by 9. There's a little bit more going on in the frame. However, once again, I really want to show you as we flip back into Lightroom, the detail that I think this lens is rendering that I, I don't recall seeing in, you know, the previous 18mm f2, certainly. Um, so if we move, if we zoom right into Tim's eye, um, you know, you're going to see a lot of detail there. And that's definitely something that I'm noticing with this 18 mil. And I'm sure, well, I know for a fact, will be relevant in the, the new 23 mil 1.4 when it comes out also. Um, but yeah, beautiful. Really, really nice. And again, you know, this is showing us, this is shot at f3.6. So this is in um, uh, auto mode, uh, fully automatic, I would imagine at this point. So the camera's picked 3.6 as the aperture. Um, but it's got a nice fall off, got nice depth of field. You can just see the church kind of moving away in the background there. Now, of course, 18 mil at 1.4 is relatively uh, wide. It's going to give you a relatively decent depth of field. Okay, but because it's 18 mil, it's not going to have the same fall off as a as a more uh, as a longer lens would. So even the 23 1.4, uh, certainly things like the 35 f2, etc. You're probably going to be seeing if you're a lover of bokeh and depth of field and all that kind of stuff. You're going to see more of that in those longer lenses. 18 mil is is inherently going to give you relatively narrow depth of field in the background. But I think it's it's a wonderfully smart storytelling lens. Okay, dad and bride arriving at the church, uh, nice and low. So I've gone down low here, down past the side of the bridesmaid on the left-hand side. Uh, kind of hidden myself a little bit there and uh, just getting that, that reaction as she sees the bridesmaids for the first time coming into the church. Um, now, definitely, you know, uh, that using my old uh, methodology of 23 mil, I'm going to be moving around a lot more than I'm going to be able to, to for this shot. Um, doesn't mean that I wouldn't get that shot, of course, but perhaps I have to think a little bit more about it. What I really noticed when I was shooting this wedding is, is I, I just didn't have to think so much. Everything that I wanted in the frame was was pretty much there. And of course, as I've mentioned with this idea of, uh, of the, the high resolution, if you like, of these lenses, it does give me an opportunity to crop as well, if necessary. And I'm always an advocate of shooting wider and cropping in, as long as the technology is there. Um, and this is a case in, in hand here. Uh, really, really pretty picture that I like. OK, so here we are in the church. And uh, this is Alex and her dad walking down the aisle. 
towards the waiting groom at the front. Um, and again, beautiful. I really love this picture. Beautiful light, beautiful natural light flooding in from that church. Um, no, this is... Uh, Possibly one of my favourite images taken with the 18 mil so far. Uh, it, you know, it's not necessarily just because of the uh, the light and everything, but I just love the I love the people, I love the faces, I love the fact that there's not one mobile phone sticking up in front of her face. I love the smile on her face. I love the smile on his face. Uh, I love everything about this. It's a really, really beautiful, classic, I think, timeless uh, wedding photo. Okay, so same wedding, uh, opposite direction. <laughs> She's now walking up the aisle with her husband. Uh, and again, remember, this isn't a technical review of the 18 mil. There's millions of those out there. Um, I'm just trying to show you kind of the way that I'm using it, I suppose, uh, from my wedding uh, photography perspective, point of view. Um, and it's definitely something that I'm really, really enjoying using. And that's the, the crucial thing. Uh, you know, I'm really enjoying using that new 18 mil lens. So this one, another one, um, exactly the same place, exactly the same point, um, you know, bride being uh, about to be hugged by a beautiful friend of hers. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, she's not seeing me, the bride's not seeing me. That's the crucial thing here. Um, but I can still get close. I can just reach in, shoot, move away, reach in, shoot, move away. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun using that, this mechanism to shoot this part of the wedding day for me. Okay, this is the fabled double hug. You get 10 points extra if you get double hugs. Um, <laughs> it's actually more tricky than you think. So here we are. Um, same thing, you know, look at my perspective, look at my angle behind the bride and groom, just waiting for those moments. Uh, 18 mil wide. Now, I definitely wouldn't get this with the 23 mil. I would be cropped in too tight. Um, yes, I believe in this case I could probably have stood back a little bit further, but then that introduces its own problems because then, you know, if I go take one or two paces back, there's probably more room for people to come in front of me and kind of get in the way. So, yeah, I'm really loving loving these types of images with this, this new lens. We're confetti time. Out they come. Um, now, really, this is this is where it's singing for me, this lens. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big lover of these types of shots. Uh, you know, as a storytelling wedding photographer, this is all part of it. Um, now, they're coming straight out of the church. As you can see, we'll see another confetti shot in a moment. Um, but what I'm loving here, again, is that, that kind of nice wide perspective. Okay, so moving back with them. So when they come out of the church, I'll move up the uh, um, confetti line, if you like. And then uh, usually about halfway, I'll jump into the crowd. I'll jump into the left-hand side, usually the left-hand side. Not sure why, but usually the left-hand side. Um, let them go past me uh, and that gives us this perspective I think it gives us a perspective of um, you know being one of the guests if you like whereas that previous image of course we looked and uh, you know it's quite clear that I'm in the middle I'm the, the you know the hired hand here whereas in this image I think it gives a lot more dynamic to it it gives it a lot more perspective it gives it a lot more storytelling um, and you know it's a really really nice and kind of impactful image Okay, so there you go. Uh, quick and cheerful, hopefully cheerful for you. And uh, yeah, 18mm 1.4 is my new best friend. And uh, remember, thank you very much to Lexar for sponsoring this channel and uh, the good folks over there with their super fast SD cards. Um, yeah, leave comments below and I will hopefully see you next video.